we're going to a different economy, and we're going to be learning more about that uh, as we go. But clearly, we're, we're, we're learning that things can be done uh, from remote, remote locations. We're learning that technology can replace people even more than we thought. We're not going back to the same economy. We're going, we're recovering, but to a different economy. And it'll be one that is more leveraged to technology. And I worry that that is going to make it even more difficult than it was for, for many workers. In Silicon Valley and my friends who work in technology know that what we did to the manufacturing workers, we are now going to do to the retail workers, the call center workers, the fast food workers, the truck drivers, and then even bookkeepers, accountants, uh, insurance agents, lawyers, and on and on through the economy. So what happened to the manufacturing workers is a very clear sign. This effort, and China has big plans for this. They intend to seed um, their digital yuan into the global environment by giving it away to visitors at next winter's Olympics. When they arrive at the airport, they're gonna get di yuan digital wallets, they're gonna receive digital yuan, they're gonna use it uh, throughout their visits to Beijing, and then they're gonna take it back to their own countries. They see this as a huge advantage. Why? Because who controls the underlying protocols, who un controls the underlying standards of the future of money will control the future of money. That we, we forget a couple of things, that there's still lots of money sloshing around the globe. Remember, about 2 o'clock every afternoon, we learn about that parking lot of uh, reverse repos, which is hovering around $1.5 trillion. There is plenty of capital in the world. Welcome to the Crypto Teacher. Please like and subscribe if you do like what you're listening to. Please inform your friends and family and spread all over social media. It is imperative that we get back to learning finances and understand how the world really works. Because once we understand how the world really works, we understand that it is all planned out. Now I want to thank those who purchased the books, Crypto Teacher and the New World Order Book. Remember those books are mandatory because they show you how the world really works. And in the times that we're in right now, we definitely need to know how the world works. What's wrong? To those who purchased the three kids' books, it's time to re-educate. Also, much love to those who donate to the Cash Shop Patreon. Much love. Keep it coming. And remember, the New World Order cryptos are in my Patreon. Plus, I keep you up to date with the New World Order events. And that is so important because, guys, we are getting close to that main event. And then also, much love to those who are shopping at both stores. Keep it coming. And of course, guys, we get into Bitcoin and cryptos first. And the market had pulled back slightly. As I'm doing this video, we are moving up a little. Do not forget CME opens tonight. So we know that's going to move the market. Make sure you're paying attention to the actual indicators. We have volume, we have tether, and we have USDC. There is absolutely no volume in the market right now. And we know when Tether and USDC is above that dollar, we know we normally move down. And when it's 99 and below, we normally move up. But guys, we have absolutely no volume here. Now, do not forget about the Fed, guys. We know the repo has been over $1.5 trillion, which is absolutely amazing. But this is the way they've been trying to control yields so that therefore this doesn't crash the market. Yields are controlling cryptos and stocks. And do not forget about the grayscale whale. They have been quiet over the last two months. So they've been moving lockstep with the Fed. They already knew what the Fed was going to do. We see the manipulation. Grayscale went from 60 billion assets under management all the way down to 30. It's creeped up to about 32, 33. But they were selling before the pullback. Now, guys, we're going to get over into a little crypto news. We have fourth quarter 2001 XRP markets report that came out January 28th. Now, we have Ripple has been a buyer of XRP in the secondary market and expects to continue to undertake purchases in the future at market prices as ODL continues to gain global momentum. Now, the key is this paragraph here, leases. Certain wallets are being used for XRP sales also provide short-term leases to market makers. This is worth noting given they are often incorrectly interpreted by the market participants as sales. Leases are ultimately returned to Ripple. Total leases outstanding in fourth quarter of 2021 were 88 million XRP. And guys, we know market makers boost liquidity. 
Now, looking over the past two years, we saw XRP get a boost at the end of January going into February. So I definitely see XRP and XLM getting a boost this first quarter. Now we have U.S. Treasury and FinCEN are considering strict know your customer rules for crypto transactions with unhosted wallets. And we know Janet Yellen is a chess piece to the New World Order the same way Gary Gensler is. The whole point of cryptocurrencies was cutting out the middleman, peer-to-peer -peer transactions. But as we can see, as crypto is developing, we see the big banks, the big corporations have been funding this from the beginning. If I make a cash transaction, you don't know what I did. The whole point is they want to know everything that you're actually doing. Total control. And we know that programmable money is right around the corner. Now we have China Pilot's nationwide blockchain development over real world use cases. And some of the key areas of blockchain development include manufacturing, energy, government data sharing and services, law enforcement, taxation, criminal trials, inspection, and cross-border finance. Again, XRP and XLM and including Bitcoin Lightning. We know that China is 10 years ahead of us. How do we know that? Because we funded it. We planned it. We know about the Belt and Road. We know about Society 5.0. Please go watch those videos, my Belt and Road videos and my Society 5.0 videos. The rise of China, the dragon, and the fall of the America to Babylon. That digital yuan is going to be backed by that digital SDR. And the crypto teacher wrote about it a long time ago. But guys, all I have for you, don't forget about the books, Crypto Teacher and the New World Order book, plus the three kids' books, It's Time to Reeducate. Also, if you're new to cryptos, Coinbase, BitChute, Binance, and I forget, book links and crypto links are in the description. The Crypto Teacher Stock Channel, Crypto Teacher Stocks. You have your Kobo, your chip stocks, your banking, your gaming, while everybody's sitting at home, got their own stocks, the C-Word, the biotech stocks. And while everybody's at home wishing they were still getting that free money, what are they doing? Drinking and smoking weed. Don't forget about those stocks, and you have a wonderful day. The most powerful person in the world is the storyteller. The storyteller sets the vision, values, and agenda of an entire generation to come. Steve Jobs. And guys, you know I truly believe in this. When you look at the New World Order, they're the storytellers. And that's the reason why I wrote my New World Order book. But guys, now it's time to change the current generation. And I wrote three kids' books. You know I love the Trinity because I understand the power that's in it. So I have three books. We have an opportunity to change the generation, to educate, not just me, but I want to show you that I take action on a daily basis. And I want you to take action on a daily basis. Whether it's your job, whether it's in your community, we have an opportunity right now to educate the masses. I posted this on my Twitter account. Please share, but this is a short clip of the three books. There's going to be a clothing line and action figure. Please get these books for your kids, nephews, cousins, friends. So therefore, we can start the re-education now. Because as we see, the fourth industrial revolution foundation is definitely here. Robots, algorithms, drones, taking humanity out the picture. We have to re-educate. But let's get into the video. Part 1, King Joshua and Grandma Tim save the village. Part 2, King Joshua and Grandma Tim save New York. Long COVID-33. Part 3, King Joshua and Grandma Tim goes to China. It's mandatory to get Part 1, Part 2, and Part 3 of this series. It's time to re-educate Generation Z.